This is Dabu 7, and we have a new drill to add to this long list of drills that have just piled up into October and toward the end of the year here. This one is a huge one that will simulate a knockout blow to the power grid of the United States. And as many people always say, seeing me or EMP and this and that, they're saying they're planning for a cyber attack. Now there's no telling how big of a scale if, if, if it was to go down, if it would be the whole United States or just a region. Hence you have the alert for the FEMA 3 region uh, that Rev. Michelle Hopkins did on. And I'll leave a link so you can check out all that work that she did there. She did a good job with that. All the long list of all the information is there. But GridX is going to specifically look at the power grid going down. It's going to have its full players, the whole breakdown. And it's going to be going down November 13th and 14th. So I just wanted to throw it out there on top of all the other amazing numbers here that you can, you're going to see here that's going on 386,000 foreign troops are here learning our equipment US weapon systems learning English urban warfare and to be completed by the beginning of October you've got 2800 MRAP vehicles to be delivered to DHS by the beginning of October uh, no US military is allowed to go on leave between September 28th through November 5th that's one of the biggest red flags alone and to accommodate to that norcom who has its yearly civil unrest training has suspended it and is waiting till september 27th they're going to kick it off while no one else can leave what timing also all dhs agents must qualify with their sidearm shotgun ar-15 by september 28th um other classes by the 29th we, it goes on to say down here, as the list just goes on and on, that National Guard, Guard have to have their complete right control disaster assistance training and all that done by September 30th. The emergency broadcast system will begin September 25th and run through October 2nd. Uh, the East Eastern Base Coast Guard units are to perform massive group training that's usually done in the Gulf. They're going to do it in Virginia and Delaware. And it's going to be a 10-day mission running from September 26th through the first week of October. A lengthy list of drills. Most people are talking about the 57 ships or whatever off the East Coast. Nobody knows what it is for sure. And unless somebody gets on a boat and goes out there and looks and takes pictures, we're not going to know for sure. This is something to keep an eye on. Um... I'll leave a link here so you guys can watch this. You need to watch this video by Rev. Michelle Hopkins. She did great work here. Um, long list of drills that's going down. We now have a new one to add to the list. And this is going to be the la in the latter part of all the drills, mid-November. And it's going to simulate one of the biggest drills of all. And that's of the grid going down. You can check out all the information that they've got here on GridX what they've got scheduled to go down here and we'll see what else pops up along the way in, in this time frame but um, if you're looking for false flag events and they're always coinciding with drills well here's your large list of drills that this gave you plus I want to give a shout out to the UK there's a red alert for people screaming that they're pulling out a draft where they're making everyone serve 18 months uh, in the military over there, I do believe it was 18 months, and people are not happy. And as far as uh, the people out here that are that have concerns about September 11th, that's going to come before all these drills here, and it's going to be the million man Muslim march that's going to take place. There's concerns about that as well. If there's going to be a false flag event there, infiltration, um, and then there's also people raising concerns about space uh, meteorites coming down people are filming it it's happening all over the west coast impacts even and in, in china um 
this whole Patty Broussard thing, I, all I can say about the Second Son thing is it happens every year. There's something like it. But what I can say that's different this year is I checked Comet Ellen and many other comets in all the way in through the perihelion, uh, all the images, everything. But this Comet Ison, the new images of it are wicked. And it looks like something totally crazy. And if, if, if it gets to the size they're saying, brighter than the moon, you're talking second sun type in the sky, visually. Um, you know, biblical omen type stuff that this, this comet, if you want to call it a comet, um, could set off. But either way, it's going to be in the sky. Now, we had two other... Um, comets earlier this year pan stars uh and another one that came through that if you had a telescope you could see but this one is supposed to light up bright and the this is the new images it's a three-piece body it's on the backup channel i'll leave a link you guys make sure you subscribe never know what happened around here on youtube but it's it's amazing shots showing what the real structure of this comet ison looks like so, with that and the sun doing its polar flip, reaching this climax, we are in interesting times, folks. So, the best thing that I can always say to do is have a plan. You can't go wrong with having a plan. If you can prepare to survive, what they're preparing for here, for the grid to go down, you could survive anything. And I'm serious. Have a stash. Have a supply. You people need to see and think strategically and see where all these goods are going. Of course, they're going to be protected by guns, and that's my whole point. You're not going to see none of this food FEMA's getting and rationing. Their troops, their people are going to get it if it's real deal. It's hit the fan. Yeah. So, eyes open, folks. I'll leave links as always. Till next time, Dabu7. With some more underground. World News.